The United States Air Force has awarded California startup Exosonic a contract to develop their low-boom supersonic aircraft concept with a view to potentially using it as the future Air Force One. The company is already developing a design that will feature boom softening techniques by a careful design of the aircraft that will divert the sonic boom. This will allow aircraft to use supersonic flight over land, which is currently prohibited, as the hope is to reduce the noise down to around 70 decibels. That's about the same as being inside a car travelling at around 60 miles per hour and less than a vacuum cleaner. Norris Ty, founder of Exosonic, worked for Lockheed Martin on NASA's X-59 testbed, intended to trial this very concept. The X-59 is just beginning construction now. However, not waiting around, Exosonic is developing a concept passenger aircraft that will carry 70 passengers, cruise at Mach 1.8, and have a projected range of 5,000 nautical miles. It is this concept that has caught the USAF's interest as a potential new presidential aircraft. After all, the time of the President of the United States is critical, and anything that gets them around to places quicker is going to be a winner. It'll be interesting to see how Exosonic does, as their work offers the potential for supersonic passenger flights to become the norm for all of us in the not-so-distant future. If you're interested in finding out more about Exosonic, there are links to an article in the description. Well, folks, that wraps up this video. Hopefully you found it interesting. And if so, please drop a like. And also, I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments on the subject. Some of my other videos have had some really good discussions, and I hope that these videos provide an avenue for debate. And if you want to support the channel, please consider buying my book, Desert Sniper, which is about my time fighting ISIS in Syria. Links are in the description. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again.